Hey everybody, welcome to Josh's campsite. I'm Josh. And today we're going to try something new. We're going to try uh, making some pizza on the barbecue grill. This is something I want to try on a campfire. So we'll give her a little test run on the old grill. So we're going to do some in indirect grilling. we got all my charcoal and a couple of chunks off to the side. And uh, we're using pre-made, pre-cooked pizza dough. We fried up some sausage in the house. So we got the cheese pepperoni sausage. And uh, we're going to go ahead and get her on there and see if we can just try to really warm it all up real good. Melt the cheese. There's ghost. Make sure it didn't drop nothing. And we're not really trying to cook it per se. We're just trying to get everything nice and hot. Want that cheese to melt. The coal's going good. And there's wood chucks flaming up. Another sweet pea the beagle. She's making sure I didn't drop nothing either. I'm starting to smell it a little bit. She's a she's quite the big fan of pizza. So we're starting to build some heat. Uh, if I hadn't opened it so many times, it probably wouldn't have taken as long. But overall, I'd say about 15-20 minutes. Uh, you probably want her to run right around 300 in there. Like I said, I kept opening it up so I could take a stupid video. So it took a little bit longer than it should have. I have these solar lights up around my easy up. And uh, they help quite a bit when it gets dark and still grill and... The flashing ones don't do anything but create atmosphere. Sweet Pea's getting sick of waiting on us. I'll go ahead and check her again. There we go. Cheese is starting to melt now. Edges are starting to get a little dark. I'll go ahead and scooch them over just a little bit closer to the coals. I said, I'm not really trying to cook them. It's more I'm just trying to get everything nice and hot. And I probably would have been a lot more successful if I hadn't kept opening the grill every five or ten minutes. A nice smoke rolling out. Sweet Pea's getting impatient, waiting for them to get done. getting some good heat built oh yeah look at that cheese is finally starting to melt let's give her a few more minutes let the light shut off and just enjoy the nice night Should be just about done. We'll go ahead and pop her open again and see what they look like. Oh, buddy, look at that. Just about there. You know, scooch them over just a little bit closer. See if we can get those edges just to crisp up just a little bit. Again, if you're not making a video and you're doing this, it'll go a lot faster because you can actually leave the lid down and build some heat on it. I like these cheap solar motion lights I got off of Amazon. I pitch black out, but I can still see what I'm doing in there. Alright, let's pop her open. Oh, I got some good temperature going there, just a little over 300. I should just let it bake for another minute. Here's another puppy impatiently waiting. But we can really start to smell it now. She decided to steal my chair. 
she's sick of waiting. Frankly, so am I. It's starting to smell really good. Alright, let's crack her open. About 350, so should be good. Oh, yeah, there we go. Please let me have my chair back. So I rotated them. Just like I said, trying to get the edges to crisp up a little bit. And they are done. Took them in and ate them. Turned out pretty dang good. Enjoy.